Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create scorecards and sparklines in Looker Studio. So, obviously, creating a scorecard is really nothing too exciting and it's not that difficult, but I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff in this video and how to make the most of your scorecards and how to make them look great and um, insightful. So, to create the scorecard, we go up the top here to add a chart and then it's the second option down the bottom here scorecard so we just click on that and then drop it down here somewhere so it's automatically picked up views for my Google Analytics property so what I would suggest that you do is scroll down and where it says spark line you want to add a dimension and that dimension should be the date all right, so we click on date. And as you can see, that's added a spark line, which should match up with the date range uh, up the top here in this uh, date control. And then if we go to style, and we look for spark line, and then we want to click on fill. And then if I make this a bit bigger, you can see that it has filled in the spark line um, and it's showing a nice neat graph line graph of what's happened over this period for views now it would also be a good idea to center the metric name center the metric value uh, you can also add comparisons in here as well so uh, we come in here and comparison type period here we go comparison date range usually I like to put that in as the previous period so click apply it's taking a while for it to think about it All right, so I'm back. That took uh, a good 10, 15 seconds for it to appear, but you can see that the comparison has appeared. And if we go back to style and we put the comparison in the center, um, then that looks a lot better. All right, so let's say, for example, we wanted to add more of these scorecards and let's put another three of these next to each other so that we've got a line of four scorecards. So once you're happy with the way it looks, obviously you can change the, um, the background and border color. Uh, so rather than being blue, we could change it. Actually, no, that's not the one that I was after. The spark line color, sorry. So if we change that to red, then we can change that to a nice red color. So once you're happy with it, then it's just a matter of clicking on edit up the top here and copy and then edit and paste obviously you can also use control c and control v on a on windows or command v and command command c and command v on a mac so there's two of those so we'll just copy another two like that um, so that one's views. Let's change this one to a different metric. Uh, engagement rate. And then this one. Events per session. And then this one here. Uh, geez, a lot of these are for items and e-commerce. New users, there we go. All right, so what we can do then is we can add a text box uh, up the top here. So click on text and then just draw that down here. Uh, and we can add a 
say border to that. Oh, that's background. I always get those two mixed up. Text properties. Uh, border color, there we go, right underneath it. All right, so we can make that a little bit wider than the scorecards. Let's just finish these off by selecting each one. And then, uh, as you can see, they are aligned at the top and the bottom. Then just to make sure that the spacing is the same horizontally, we'd go to Arrange, uh, Distribute Horizontally. Uh, actually, we need to make this a little bit bigger. And we can put that over there. And then what you want to do is right click on it and order center back. Uh, we can add rounded corners. Let's just say five. And we can make the border a little bit thicker as a three. And then we can add another text box up the top. Uh, let's just do it down here for the moment. And then this one we will uh, fill it in as blue. Uh, we'll make that a little bit thinner. We'll pop it up the top here. And then we could just put some text in here. Um, so we'll make the font color white. It hasn't changed it. I've selected the wrong thing here, but just bear with me for a sec. So we can make that, yeah, let's say 28. Uh, there we go. And then obviously you'd want to center it. And you could put whatever sort of text that you wanted in there. You could, um, rearrange this text box so that there is no white showing on the outsides if you wanted to and then just lift that up a tad and there you've got nice looking panel with four scorecards in there so obviously if you wanted to put in more than four you could do that you just need to make the width of each scorecard smaller but um, I think the larger scorecards look nice, particularly with these spark lines here as well. So I hope you got some value out of that. Uh, if you've got any questions or any ideas on what videos I should create next, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.